Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here. It's currently 5.28 a.m. on Wednesday, the 8th of November. Yeah, I think it's the 8th. I'm pretty sure it's the 8th. Yes, Wednesday, November 8th. It's 5.29 a.m. now, and somebody asked for a tutorial on how I do my high ponytail. Well, it's not a high ponytail, it's just a high puff. That's how you get like the fullness of it. And I usually start with an old wash and go, old twist out, old braid out. Something where your hair has some texture to it so that your headband won't slip off. And you only really need three things to do this look. And if you don't care about your edges, then you only need... Look, I'm doing my comfort thing where I put my hand right here. Um, you only really need one thing. If you don't care about it being super sleek. So the first and probably the most important thing you're going to need... This is my hair. This is a wash and go. I just washed my hair yesterday, so this is day two. Super soft. Um, yeah, I finally found stuff that works for my hair. Anyways, you need an elastic hair tie. I like to stretch mine on a chair so that they get to be about this size without any additional pulling on it, just so that it's more comfortable because you don't want a headache. And I like to double mine up. So the first thing I do is I usually take it I put it around my neck twice, like so. Um, and this one has been stretched enough to where this is totally comfortable. Like if this were a look, I could wear this out all day and I would not be uncomfortable with this around my neck. So it's not tight, it's not choking me. It takes a while to stretch out your bands though. So the first like three or four times that you wear, um, if you're using a new elastic that you've pre-stretched, it's still gonna be kind of tight. But usually Lucian's, Lucian, Lucian's? Loosens up after three or four times of wearing it. Um, the next thing I like to do is spray the perimeter of my hair with water so that I can push it in the direction I want it to go. My hair is dry right now. It's 100% dry, but I'm just going to spray around the perimeter, so the edges. Just to get them damp. And you'll see me kind of like mush the water into my hair. Okay, that's the front and then the back. And I'm like smoothing the water into the hair so that it gets wet. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not disturbing the ends of my hair because I want to keep the definition I have on my ends. So we're not really going to touch the ends of the hair, just smoothing. This also helps to kind of reactivate any product that's already in your hair. I have like two or three, four different gels in my hair because I was just trying to use up product that's almost empty. Okay, so after you have voice in the perimeter, then you can go in with your gel if you want to use a gel. Like I said, I'm trying to use up products that are almost empty, so we're going to go in with the Eco Style Super Protein Max 10 Hole Gel. It's black, as you can see, or it's a dark brown shade. And I usually am pretty generous the first day. And I just like to smooth some around the perimeter of my head. I just kind of smooth it on. No rhyme or reason. I use a lot, like I said, the first day, so that I can use less for as long as I decide to wear this hairstyle. Yeah, some is on my forehead. That's okay. And you just want to make sure you go around, all the way around the perimeter. Like we sprayed water all the way around. Go all the way around the perimeter, even like behind your ear with gel. Okay, so once you have your gel on, step two is to smooth the gel into your hair using a boar bristle brush. So let me grab that. I have several different kinds. I'm going to use my miniature one like this. because you're less likely to like accidentally brush your um, ends. I do that sometimes when I use a bigger one. And you see how it's like smoothing and creating waves. That's what you want. So we're just gonna smooth this gel through and you wanna smooth it. Oops, see I accidentally brushed the end of my hair. You wanna try and smooth it back to about where you think you want your headband to lay. Don't forget the back. For me, the back is like the hardest. 
And make sure you brush all the way around the perimeter. And I'm smoothing with my hand as I do this to try and like mold. You're basically molding your hair where you want it to go, essentially. You see how it's getting nice and smooth? All right. So uh, I usually keep my head kind of tilted during this too, just to keep the hair going the direction I want it to. So after you get it nice and smoothed, you can take the headband and I like to put it on my face. So I do this before I do my makeup and I put it like right there on my forehead and you want to like roll it up. You want to smooth it over your edges. You're going to see some product like build up around the headband. That's okay. We want to smooth it up. We just want to smooth everything. See that? Smooth it up. I always like to push up in the back first and then push up in the front. You're smoothing everything up and then I go and I tug at the ends of my hair. And today it's going to be kind of floppy and not as voluminous because this is only a day two wash and go. Um, so it's going to look not as like full up here. You see how it's like flopping down? That's okay. I don't really want to tease my hair or like pick it out to get more volume. I'm just going to leave it as is. So I can keep the curl definition that I have. All right, so this is like my signature puff. Um, the next thing you can do is you can take like an edge toothbrush and you can go in and further like smooth and shape and define your edges if you want. Um, I think I'm pretty cool with this, how my edges are right now. They're pretty just smooth. They're not fancy or anything, but I'm not feeling fancy today. And I just tug on the ends just to make sure that it's secure and that everything's nice and taut. Not tight, but just taut. We don't want it to like slip off. And since I have natural hair, it's not going to like roll up, continue to roll up because I didn't smooth it. Like I stopped smoothing it. Does that make sense? Like it has a place where it kind of naturally sits. And I will have a dent in my hair, so when I redo this hairstyle, it's so easy. I usually take the headband off at night and let my hair just be free in a bonnet. Sorry, my nose is running. But yeah, that's all I do to achieve this hairstyle. Like I said, you can style your edges if you want to. I prefer using a toothbrush to do that. All of a sudden... Excuse me. I said all of a sudden my nose just started running and yeah. But yeah, that's all I do, literally. Um, super simple, super easy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave my edges like this today. I don't feel like being fancy. I'm just tired, but I'm happy. So yeah, that's how I do it. Um, you can see my hair. It's so soft. I love, I love the way that this wash and go came out. It's super duper soft, super moisturized. For the low low so yeah let me know if you have any other questions this is how i do my high ponytail puff really really easy i feel like it's super cute super fun and i wear my hair like this nowadays like 60 percent of the time you'll see me with my hair like this because it's easy and it's fast and it's out of my face and i don't have to worry about it and it's super simple to like refresh um, I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial now on like a super simple look and like what I like to do, what I've started doing with some of my foundations that are a little bit too dark. So if you want to see that, then make sure you click on that. It's going to be my super simple fall look. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's going to be a super simple fall look. Yeah. Again, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if this is how you do yours. Um, or if you have another trick or anything that can make it simpler for me. I do appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye YouTube.